Okay, so today I'm on a maintenance. And my gen set has some oil on the bottom, so I figured why not bring you guys along as I search for it. It's very soggy today. As you can see, there's oil down there, so. I'm believing it's coming from somewhere here. It looks like it, but let's. Open this thing up and see. I'd usually set a canopy up if I'm gonna be out in the rain, but on this hill, it's not easy. it this way in on this bottom plate but I mean, you can see all the burnt oil here even crispy oil here as it comes down Let's see the condition let's see if it has any room to tighten it first a little not much let's Creamy look here. As you clean this, make sure you're not wiping the stuff in. You always want to make sure your gasket's on a nice, flat, smooth surface. You can see there's oil under here, so... Let's get a fresh one. Let's see when I go underneath like that, if there's some really wet spot. Gotta love the milky colored oil from condensation. Could that be coming out the top? See, it doesn't look oily. But then there's one other washer. this up that 
that has to make a good seal here. Or else this leaks. I don't see any damage on the gasket. Where is there? Is that a tear? That's could be a slight tear. Usually it's a giveaway that this is leaking or something's leaking on it when you have all that caked up dirt and oil. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Doesn't look like there's all oil inside this cap for this O-ring to be the problem. That's closed. Thank you. 
clean up everything you can. You want to know where your oil leak is. Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna pretty much at this point just finish my maintenance. Just keep an eye on it, I'll be coming back. Make sure it's not leaking. I mean, how much am I really gonna open this thing up in this weather? I could get wet. I don't want my machine get well this machine getting wet somebody's property I got to take care of okay today is just a pretty nasty day out here you can see my feet <laughs> because I'm trying to friggin walk this oil should be coming to an end. Just water dripping. So far I see no oil. Let's go and get the sun without taking anything off. Just a typical day in the rain. <laughs> Always fun. Slipping and sliding down a mountain. Yo, what you do at work today? Well, I slid down a friggin' mountain. I made a mudslide. <laughs> I 
Get outside for me, go. Power the house up. Thanks for watching. I'll be uh, coming back here, I'm sure, soon. At that point, this video will have a part two. Let's see if I can make it back around this house without friggin' busting my ass again. I'm gonna film it in case I go down. I'll have it all recorded. <laughs> Take the tools first. They're what's important. Forget everything else. I'm gonna go this way. Almost. Ah. I think I just hurt my wrist. This just sucks. I think I need cleats already. Like ice cleats for this crap. So my wrist is a little sore, but I think I'll be okay from that last slide. But those that actually know me in the real world know that even if it's broken, which I'm a thousand percent sure it's not, know that I would still keep working and not give up. Let me try to go behind stuff maybe this is a safer route I mean, look at that friggin slide I didn't actually go down my shit's still clean my wrist broke the fall I mean I'm sliding everywhere here A lot of people are probably laughing their ass off that I just got slightly damaged and hurt there. Well, good for you guys. Good for you. Laugh it up. Because I'm not going to ever give up. Like no hands and I'm going to be a dumbass and just go up. <laughs> huh. go come back just to make sure hey look my slide marks are still here from when I was here last time it's still very slippery Gonna check, make sure there's no oil. Clean up the gaskets on this valve plug over here because there's oil everywhere when I was here last time. About a month ago, so this machine ran a couple times. Oh, I can't do, 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 do. He wanted me to set the exercise. I'm gonna have to set it once I'm done. This style generator, you can't do the exercise whenever you want. I remember putting this back.
It's the one that usually I don't put back. Oh, that looks really good. It looks like I took care of the problem. Success, this had oil all over everything last time. This had oil on it. So, yeah. It looks like what I did worked. I cleaned it up. Good. No fresh oil on anything here. There's a little residual from what was there before, but nothing fresh. This was from before. All right. I'm satisfied. This is just a follow-up visit because when I was here, there was oil everywhere. And I even I re-greased and sealed these up, but there's no oil at all. And it's ran a couple times, so. Yeah. I have to also remember, it blows out of here. All right, I'm satisfied. I fixed the valve cover leak last time. If not, there'd be oil all over here, which there isn't as it comes down. Looks like it's snowing right now. Last time I was here, it was raining. All right, let me close this up and get out of here. So this repair was a success. And he wanted us to run a weekly test at 4.30. Well, until next time, I'm out. No reason for you. Oh, unless you want to see me set this exercise. Gonna hold this. Okay, hold on. Reset. So let's see what is next. It's gonna come up. Next exercise, 12 months, okay, so now let's set the exercise. Let's go auto. again I need a full speed exercise oh. 
loaded. It's going to be full speed. So much better. Before it sounded like it was going to stall out. I don't like the half speed exercise. Let me get out of here. Let's see if this way. It's probably just as dangerous. Boom. I kept my feet. Check that out, but I think I hurt my back. Oh. Oh, my back, I twisted something there. Oh. <laughs> Look at my feet did on that dirt right there. I gotta continue the truck because my back hurts now. Whew. All right, until next time, I'm out.